Hi everyone, it's Mike Wave Sam. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about Amazon S3. It's pretty surprising to me that Amazon S3, which stands for Simple Storage Service, does not have too many good tutorials when it comes to creating a simple web page. Now, it might sound easy to you, but setting it up might be a little bit tricky when it comes to Namecheap because there's not too many good thorough, detailed documentation about it. But to explain why Amazon S3 even is, it is a service provided by Amazon Web Services that in this tutorial I'll be showing how to set up a simple static web page, but it's generally considered a scalable, reliable, low latency data storage infrastructure that you can have at low cost uh, used to distribute data, but a lot of people use it just to host their simple static web page. The first step is to get a domain name. You can buy one at Namecheap.com, which is one of many services that provide domain names for people. You can purchase them between seven to ten dollars normally, and I'll leave a link to the website in the description. You can sign up and create a new account if you don't have one already. I'll sign it into my own account. When you sign into your account, you get taken to your dashboard, and at your dashboard, you can see all the domains that you view in your account. Now, we'll go up at the top to domains, and underneath, we'll go to registration. At registration, you can search for domain names anywhere on the web. Namecheap will search whether they are available or not, and it will provide a list of related searches with different .com, .org, etc. We can see that helloworld.com is not available, but a helloworld.uk is. And you can add these to your cart, or you can make an offer to an already owned domain name. But we'll go to our dashboard again because I already have a domain name set up. If we go to view, you can see the five domain names I have, one of which is chimeflow.com, which I bought in April with a waiver, and I just bought a random domain name with this free waiver. If you click on the domain name, you get to domain name settings, and at the left tabs, you can search host management, and underneath host management, you can go to all host records. Underneath this setting, it provides the host information and records which you can change and these host records can provide the link between Namecheap and S3 which, we'll, which we will be using to host our website. You can see there are two settings already on the website but we'll go to Amazon Web Services which is at aws.amazon.com which I'll also leave a link into the description, into the description and we'll create a new account if you don't already have one. Remember, you might need a credit or debit card linked to your account to create your AWS account. I'll sign into my own account and I'll go to Amazon Management Console. At this Management Console, I'll select the S3 tool underneath Storage and Cloud Delivery, I think. And at the top, you can just always run Java on the site. You don't need the latest version of Java and you can update it later. Now we'll create a new bucket and these buckets are basically little environment storage environments where you can have all your files uploaded. We'll name the environment the name of our domain name and add www to it. So I'll name it www.chimeflow.com. Underneath permissions I'll change the bucket policy. So first of all I'll copy this bucket policy that I had from a previous website copy it over and at resource we're going to change one part of this bucket policy after we copy it over so we go to our bucket chimeflow.com underneath permissions we add a bucket policy we paste this little bucket policy which is a little details file uh, details list and we change the right side of resource the domain and we add www.chimeflow.com backslash star. Now, after that, we save it. And I'll leave that in the description. And we go to static website uh, properties, I think. And we will enable website hosting. 
index document is the page that you will go to at the first um, read uh, at the first entering of your web page and that's normally just index.html we can save that endpoint we will copy the part right after www dot and we'll copy that chimeflow.com dot s3 this is used to create a C name and the C name alias is used to link Namecheap with S3. So we'll paste that little URL and we'll save that. For the record type, it's C name alias and the number is 1800. Now we will. Okay, well, the error that I just got was because I had the dot right after right before chime flow dot and I'll erase that small dot I'll name C name alias and I'll just save it now it works because that dot messed um, the dot extra dot I had before basically messed the C name up I'll save that and now everything should be fine as for the connection between Namecheap and S3 what we can do now is click on our bucket chimeflow.com and we can start uploading files or creating a new folder. I will open up a new file in Sublime Text and I'll start creating a new index.html file which is the name of the file that we said would be basically the home page, the first thing that you actually see when you go to the domain name. So we'll just do this little index.html, we'll give it a doc type HTML header and then a head tags and a body that just says hello world and at the top I'll just grab because I have momentarily forgot what the top tag to name and distinguish that this file is an HTML file it's just a less than exclamation point capital doc type space HTML greater than sign and we save it as index.html save that and that's what it kind of looks like this is just an example file but normally you would just have your own index.html files uploaded to this bucket where users or viewers can see your web page because it would be linked to the domain name on Namecheap and now I'll give it a title of sample I'll save this and I'll upload it to that bucket I'll upload a file you can also drag in drop file and folders to here and at the desktop I'll upload index.html like I said before you can upload files by drag and drop and those files can be up to five terabytes each so this is where S3 becomes useful for data storage not only for the static web pages and if we go to chimeflow.com it redirects to www.chimeflow.com and you can see hello world you can also see the title as sample and the connection is made you've set up your website it's linked to the domain name and it's as simple as that now if we go to all buckets and we click on Shineflow, we can check the properties for this last thing I want to show you. If you don't have a domain name and you are too cheap to buy that $10 a year domain name, then you can also access your website underneath static website hosting at the endpoint. If you copy this URL, the www.chimeflow, etc. that we use for the C name, and you go to that web page it will actually have whatever contents of your bucket and in this case it will lead to index.html so thanks for watching everyone please rate comment subscribe if this helped you learn about s3 and how to link it with namecheap with a new domain name thanks for watching